The challenge is to wear your watch, cover it with duct tape, run a 5K, I always stop before I leave cell service and text Bridget, true love, let her know the mountain I'm going up. Sometimes I have to pivot at the last minute because of weather. Not today. Intervals at 14,000 feet on Mount Evans. Vamanos, here we go. Oh, turn that doorknob. I did not sleep very well last night. I'll just tell you that right now, everyone. I guess I was too excited. Got my gels, by the way. Go USA, go Buffs, all right. Joe Klecker, he's running the uh, 10,000 meters at the Tokyo Olympics. He ran for CU. I didn't run with him, but uh, he still was a buff. So go Buffs, and here we go. Gonna be expeditious, get rolling here. Again, intervals at 14,000 feet. It's about eight-ish, I'll call it eight-ish miles to the top from here and parking at Echo Lake. All right, here's the elevation. I believe we're looking at 10,600 feet for the current parking location. Oh man, and uh, gosh, whoo, it's just like the pain cave. This is, <laughs> it's, it's 5.18 a.m. and I'm here. And it's like the only reason I was able to really get up and down beer stat six minute fast six minutes faster compared to 2018 is because of things moments like this where you're willing to get up early willing to make a little bit of pain in your life
That is the top. Not sure if you can see it. Top of Mount Beerstadt. The FKT from two days ago, all right? The only reason I do what I do over there is because what I'm doing today on Mount Evans. Aerobic uh, base, red blood cells. There's the top of Mount Evans, all right? So, good times. Hope you enjoyed running up the mountain with me, all right? Workout begins now. It was uh, 15 kilometers even to get to the top, dead on. Uh, and now we're gonna do the five, actually it's a little windy, hold on. Hopefully that's better. We're gonna do five by 500 meters and then a ladder. We're gonna do 100, 200, 300, 400, 400, 300, 200, 100. Okay, so that's the workout. Mmm. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Whoa. Sense Ride 4s. More excited than I expected, frankly. Kind of a hard durometer score, but I'm enjoying them. They're doing well in the rocks, that's for sure. Should have packed a second battery. Didn't expect to film as much as I did. Only 15% left, so I'm not going to be able to film much of this workout, but we'll stick it up in the air for a couple minutes. <laughs> Well, that didn't go so smooth. <laughs> there you go. And we're back from the mountains, back at the house. So it's about five hours later. I uh, didn't even change. Just, you know, went straight into the house and edited the vlog. But the day is not done. The running is not done for the day. Talk about the Duncan 5K challenge here in one second. But first, the comment of the day. Here we go. Shout out to, where is it, Alessandro Rossi. He says, the durability prediction crowdsourcing is a very good idea. Thank you, Alessandro, for the, uh, for the comment. And if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, the Nova Blast 2 versus the Max Road 5 running shoe battle, I announced on the website, themoregloballrunning.com, we are now going to start crowdsourcing the wear and tear on running shoes by you, DGR out there around the world, submitting photos of your running shoes to us and then letting us know how many miles or kilometers you have put in, put into your running shoes. All right, so thank you Alessandro for noticing that. I think it's I think it's going to be a lot of fun just to see uh, it's just going to be fun to see everyone's shoes from around the world. Okay, here we go. The Duncan 5K challenge. In case you are unaware of what's going on, I've got duct tape, I've got my watch. So, over on Discord, yes, We've been talking for two or three weeks about this 5K challenge. And the whole idea, Duncan is a member of the channel. He lives in Ireland, I do believe, right, Duncan? And basically, the, the challenge is to wear your watch, cover it with duct tape, run a 5K, predict a time without looking at the watch, try and get as close as possible to your predicted time. So the whole idea behind the challenge is to run by feel, which you know me, that's how I train. It's always by feel. It's never by heart rate. Uh, a little bit by pace at times. So I love this challenge. Thank you, Duncan. So here we go. I'm gonna go do the challenge, and I guess I just realized question of the day as well. Um, well, actually, here we go. I Yeah, let's, let's go there. What other challenges could we do as a DGR global running family? Obviously, we can't, you know, meet in person. Uh, maybe someday we'll meet in person. But in the meantime, what other challenge? I what other challenge ideas would you have for us to do 
on a global scale, okay? So here we go. I love this one, Duncan, very creative. There's my watch, so my goal is to run 28 minutes. I'm very tired right now after the mountain run, which is nine minutes a mile, uh, 536 per kilometer. That's my goal, okay? So here we go. Putting the, uh, let me just make sure we're in start mode. Yep, okay, so I'm putting the duct tape on and uh, we'll see how close. I mean, I, I'm, always, I'm always preaching running by feel, so I better get as close as possible here. Okay, let me put this watch on and I will give you the results um, should I do it at the end of the blog? Why not? All right. And then after this, I'm off to the gym. So the day is not done. We're just working, everybody. Working. Whew. Nine minutes a mile. Can I do it? Okay. Let me just make sure here. Okay. I think we're good to go. All right. We'll see you in 28 minutes. I'm back. Duncan 5K Challenge. That was so, I can't wait to read your answers to the question of the day. I mean, listen, running shoes are fun. Even racing is fun. Everything is fun in the running world. But challenges together in Malaysia, in Argentina, in uh, South Africa, in France, in Russia, in wherever you live around the world, it's like the ability for us to connect on a global scale and share a challenge, I think is just amazing. So that was fun. I haven't looked yet. You ready? Okay, I asked the, did the comment of the day, question of the day. You're seeing my gut reaction, taking the tape off. I do know I stopped at 5K. Uh, I, gla I pulled the uh, tape back just to see the distance, but I did not look at the time. So here's my gut reaction. Okay, it's coming off. Okay, let me save, finish. Hold on, it's a Koros watch, and then I will get you the splits as well. Oh, slow. I love it, 30 minutes even. So I was two minutes off, whoa. That means I am tired, that's awesome. So I was I was way off, six minutes per kilometer. Okay, let me just get the splits, hold on one second here. There it is, okay, 9.39 a mile. Let's see, best mile was 9.17, average heart rate, 99, I'll take that, that's awesome. Okay, splits, one second, one second, I'm waiting for the splits to share with all of you, DGR Strong. I wish I could find the splits somewhere. Okay, I'll have to get you the splits at some point. Maybe in the editing process, I'll throw them up there. Bottom line, that was fun. Thank you, Duncan, for inspiring us. We're going to uh, throw it to the Beer Stat FKT from a couple days ago, all right? In case you missed it, right there, right there, right there, all right? Beer Stat FKT, just from a couple days ago since uh, we were talking about that today, okay? I'm off to the gym. Love you all. Keep turning that doorknob. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.